Did you know that medical grade supplies in the formal healthcare system have become priceless? Patients are getting discharged from hospitals and still needing care. Therefore, lay people and professional caregivers use various technologies to handle their health. The range of medical technologies used in non-clinical environments varies from simple materials for providing first aid to refined devices for delivering advanced medical treatment. Some of these medical devices have been used in the home for generations, while others have advanced and evolved over the years. Emerging technologies provide new home healthcare management options every other day. Not to mention, depending on the situation, you might want to consider having these devices in your home. In this video, we will discuss 10 medical grade supplies that every household should have. But before we jump into the video, welcome to Ambusly, where we provide helpful information for all things health, nutrition, tips, and more. If you are new to the channel, please leave a like and subscribe as it helps with the algorithm. Now, without further ado, let's dive right in it. Number 10. Medical Thermometer Medical thermometers are essential to a patient's health. Understanding body temperature is critical when dealing with not only babies and toddlers, but also with adults. Medical thermometers allow healthcare professionals to more accurately monitor the temperature of a person from the normal baseline core temperature. It has been widely understood that body temperature can be an indicator of health for decades. However, thermometers did not appear in clinical medicine until the 16th century. Even at this stage, medical thermometers were very different to what we know today. Most were known as thermoscopes, which operated through the air trapped inside a glass tube. Mercury thermometers were a standard medical device, until fairly recently when they started to be phased out due to toxicity. Having one around is always useful, especially when you suspect a fever is present. Number 9. Emergency Blankets Emergency blankets are vital when facing chaotic and life-threatening situations. They are also referred to as first aid blankets and thermal or weather blankets. These body wraps are designed to reduce your body's heat loss drastically. Suppose you are caught up in an emergency, like an unexpected storm while backpacking, or even a natural disaster. Your body can quickly lose heat from thermal radiation or water evaporation. An emergency blanket can help your body retain its heat, and its use is an effective survival tactic as you await a rescue team. When you think of emergency blankets, you most likely think of mylar bags, also known as space blankets. Although there are many other emergency blankets, mylar is the most common one. They are not typical because they are made from vaporized aluminum and a thin plastic sheet. The aluminum works by reflection to prevent your body from losing heat through radiation. Number 8. First Aid Kit First aid supplies are not limited to goggles, gloves, or surgical masks. You can add scissors, tweezers, lights, torches, cotton swabs, and an assortment of other useful things. In terms of medicines, one can add oral rehydrated salt absorption, such as charcoal. But what is first aid when we talk about first aid kit? First aid is the assistance given to a person suffering from a sudden illness or injury until complete medical treatment is available. It is given by any person who knows first aid. The three main aims of a first aid kit, the three P's, are to preserve life, prevent further injuries, and promote recovery. Interestingly, first aid kits don't have to be only found in the home. They can be used in many different places, such as in the car, the camper, the office, the boat, and more. Number 7. Humidifier A humidifier is a device that increases the humidity of a single room or an entire building. Industrial humidifiers prevent static electricity buildup, preserve material properties, and ensure a comfortable and healthy environment for workers or residents. Paper and printer manufacturers use humidifiers to control shrinkage and paper curls. Humidifiers are needed in cold rooms to preserve the freshness of food against the dryness caused by hot temperatures. At the same time, art museums use humidifiers to protect sensitive works of art, especially in exhibition galleries, where they combat the dryness caused by heating used for the comfort of visitors during winter. So you can imagine what a humidifier can do in your own home and its many benefits. Number 6. Eye Wash 
Eye wash is a fluid mainly used to physically flush the eyes in case foreign materials or substances should splash or irritate them. Eye wash also benefits those with sensitive eyes and can relieve the painful side effects of sensitivity. However, prolonged usage of such products can cause mild issues, such as the reddening of the eye or pupil and itchiness. In the United States, OSHA's primary eye wash standard is where any person's eyes or body that are exposed to harmful materials within the work area can be used emergently. Number 5. Medical Grade Splint A splint is a device that maintains a displaced or movable part, is used to keep in place and save an injured part, or can be used as a flexible material to protect, immobilize, or restrict motion in a position. Splints also help with injuries that are not so severe, but yet able to immobilize the whole injured structure of the body. Splints can also relieve pain in damaged parts. A splint is quick, easy to apply, and does not require a plastering technique. Splints are often made of flexible materials and a strong pole that is structured for stability. They often buckle or velcro together. The splint has been used since ancient times. Evidence suggests that splint usage dates back to 1500 BC and was used to treat fractures and burns. Number 4. Saline and Vitamin B12 Drip Normal saline is also known as a saline solution, a mixture of sodium chloride and water. It has several uses in medicine, including replenishing the body's volume as a medium to carry or mix with other medications, cleaning wounds, removing and storing of contact lenses, helping with dry eyes, and much, much more. For example, an infusion into a vein is used to treat dehydration, such as from gastroenteritis and diabetic ketoacidosis. Large amounts may cause fluid overload, swelling, acidosis, and high blood sodium. Vitamin B12 was discovered due to the danger of a certain type of anemia called macrocytic anemia, which is a condition in which the blood has a lower than normal number of red blood cells due to a deficiency in vitamin B12. The ability to absorb the vitamin D declines with age, especially in people over 60. Vitamin B12 injections can be given intramuscularly or into the muscle. In a clinical setting, a vitamin B12 drip can also be used for a slow infusion. Number 3. Antibiotics an antibiotic or antibacterial is a chemical element that kills bacteria or slows their growth. They are used in medicine to treat and cure diseases caused by bacteria. Penicillin was the first antibiotic to be discovered. The first antibiotic production began in 1939, and in the modern day, several chemically synthesized antibiotics are manufactured to treat certain antibiotic-resistant bacteria strains, such as methicillin-resistant Staphylococcus aureus, due to the overuse and misuse of antibiotics. Antibiotics do not treat or address viral processes. Some doctors will still prescribe antibiotics as an empirical treatment for patients presenting with certain illnesses or conditions. Topical antibiotics are useful for scratches and small lacerations, can be found in different first aid kits and should be part of any medicine cabinet. Number 2. Neti Pot Neti Pot commonly relies on gravity and head position to rinse the outer sinus cavities. It has a circle near the bottom, sometimes with a handle on the opposite side. The water should not be dirty or stagnant, which can cause bacterial colonization and may be dangerous once it is poured into the nose. The water should be sterile or free of microorganisms. If water is used, it should be boiled and then cooled. Bottles of various shapes and structures for nasal irrigation are manufactured and used. Bulb syringes are primarily used for infants and children. Irrigation machines that utilize electric motor-driven pumps are also available. Number 1. Adhesive bandages Adhesive bandages can be found in most homes these days. An adhesive bandage is a sheet of small flexible material that are sticky on both ends usually, with a non-sticky absorbent pad stabilized in the middle. The main dressing area may have antiseptic properties added. The pad section of the bandage is placed against the wound, and the overlapping edges of the gerbil material are smoothly pushed down so they are stuck to the surrounding skin. They are used for minor injuries, such as for scratches and abrasions, when large size applications are not required. Thus, the healing process of the body is short-lived. An additional function of certain bandages is to cover and adhere the two cut ends of the skin together to make the healing process faster. Adhesive bandages are generally packaged in a sealed, sterile bag with a backing covering the sticky side. The back covering is removed as the application is applied. They come in different varieties of colors, sizes, and shapes. This can make it fun for both kids and adults, even when they have a boo-boo.
So there you have it. Which of the medical grade supplies do you have in your home and which will you need to buy to complement your home supply? Let us know in the comments below. If you find this video helpful, please like and subscribe to our channel for more useful information. Thanks for watching and see you soon in the next video.